Good morning, everybody. We're going to take a walk through Sunset Crest, and I'm going to be focusing on two streets in this section, Cordia and Flamboyan Street, and their typical rental spots. This is my backyard. This is pretty simple. I'm in a little studio behind some units. Here's my front door. As you can see, I have a little patio area, quite lovely. This is the view from my patio. It's the neighbor's yard and uh, it's more of an upscale house. And this netting that you can see is pretty typical of these areas where they um, have the netting to uh, keep out the vegetation from each other's yards. So I'm going out the gate now to the front street on Cordia Street. You see air conditioning units. To the front yard. Lots of shade. I'm fit. This area is facing east, so it gets lots of lovely breezes in the morning. And this is a typical scene. These are numbers 60 to 57, and my unit is in the back there. 57A. It's unusual. It's only a studio with one room, but I like that. And there's my entrance. So as you can see, these are um, have security uh, wrought iron on the front, and then behind, it's uh, a nice shaded area with tiled floors. Each unit is different depending on how the owner has decorated it and this man here has lived in his unit for 30 years lots of furniture out there it's a permanent lovely outdoor space so that's a typical four unit complex and these units are affectionately called bird cages but don't let the appearance deceive you they're quite modern inside depending on how Everybody has um, redecorated them or upgraded them. I've got a comfy chair that I've covered with a um, towel just so I don't have to get anything wet. The fridge is in the far corner there. These have blackout curtains. These. Um, windows. They also are covered in screens, so to keep up mosquitoes, which is great. Not all units do that. Also, we've got the wicker blinds to keep up the sun. There's the backyard. It's adequate lighting. I don't light it up a lot at night, but there we go. So there's the kitchen area through that cutout wall. It's very functional and it works for me. My bedroom is it has the two windows so I open all the windows at night and I go to sleep listening to the tree frogs. It's just lovely. Got a washer here so you can wash things and hang them outside on the to dry. I don't really need it. And a fully functional, well-stocked kitchen, four burner stove, microwave. I had to ask for the coffee makers. They only, only had a French press, but they agreed to give me a coffee maker. The sink, the pots and pans are really good, lots of cupboard space. So some people live in a unit like this full time, some of the local residents. This would be a typical apartment or they have a one bedroom one where the bedroom is separate. And here's the bathroom, we're leaving the bedroom area, a lot of storage in the bathroom. Now we're getting into some more up, upscale private homes. Look at this amazing vegetation. I just had to show this bougainvillea hedge. I just love this plant. It grows in the Caribbean. I've also seen it in Greece, Mediterranean climates. 
makes great tough hedge. Look at these colors, the oranges and the purples. Mag Look at that. It's a heron. I've only seen that once before. It's quite small. All right, so now I'm continuing my walk along Cordia Avenue, and really it's only a one minute walk, but because I'm stopping and starting it, it seems a lot longer. I just wanna show you what you can see within one block or one street, and this, this street is only a two minute walk from the ocean and one minute walk from a local coffee shop, one minute walk to the highway. It's just so convenient. You don't need to rent a car in Sunset Crest. And that's why it's so popular. And there we are, folks. There's the highway, which is not very busy. You can get a bus right on any corner for $2.50 Canadian. And go to Spatestown to the north and Bridgetown to the south. Flamboyant Avenue is named for its flamboyant trees. Look at this, folks. I don't think you can understand how big this sucker is. Look at this. It's beautiful. Huge. And in the spring, these trees apparently flower in beautiful pink flowers or orange flowers. I've never seen it. I've never stayed um, long enough until March. And then we've got units 38 to 42. And you can see some have more vegetation than others. So you really have to look at the photographs to know what you're getting. Most of these units face east and west. So you get some airflow from the back of the unit to the front of the unit. Here we are more flamboyant trees. And now coming at the end of Flamboyant is the medical center. And as I said, Cordia Avenue where I live is only one block over. So it's really easy to access everything. Short walk. That's why it's so popular, especially with retired people. Everything's so convenient. So now we're at the corner of Flamboyant and Cemetery Lane, which is the main drag to the main road, the highway. And the traffic is picking up now. It's 3.30 in the afternoon. And a yellow bus is gonna go past. Hang for me. Those buses are great. They're fast, they're privately owned, and they're also known as reggae buses. Gotta watch where I'm going here. I'm crossing the street. 